In this next example, determine the angle between the vectors A is I plus 2J plus 2K and B is 2I plus 2J minus K. So anytime you want an angle between two vectors, then that is the vector dot product, isn't it? That is the vector dot dot product. So we know very well that if we have two vectors A and B, then the vector dot product vector A dot vector B is given by what? It is given by the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of the angle between them, isn't it? So what they want us to determine is that angle theta between the vectors A and A and B, isn't it? So vector A, you've been told is, is I plus 2J plus 2K. And vector B, you've been told is 2I, 2I plus, plus 2J minus K, isn't it? So after that, the first thing we need to determine is A dot B, the usual multiplication, isn't it? It is just x times x because i squared is 1, isn't it? y times y plus j times z times z, isn't it? So a dot b, here the coefficient of i is x is 1, isn't it? So we are going to have x times x, 1 times 2, you get 2, then plus y times y, positive 2 times positive 2, you get 4, isn't it? Then z times z, positive 2 times negative 1, negative 2. So what do you get to be a dot b? It is just x times x plus y times y plus z times z, isn't it? Are we together? So what have you found? You found it is 4. So vector a dot vector b is, is 4. Then we want the magnitude of a, isn't it? So the magnitude of vector a, we said is the Pythagoras theorem, isn't it? So that is going to be given by the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So if vector a was x1, y1, z1, then you just substitute those values, isn't it? So if you say this, your vector a to be x1, i plus y1, j plus z1, k, then if you substitute here, what do we have? We have the square root of your x is 1, isn't it? So that is 1 squared plus your y is y1 is 2, isn't it? 2 squared plus your z1 is positive 2 is just 2, isn't it? So, plus 2 squared. If you have negative sign, you just ignore you know, because negative squared is always positive, isn't it? Are we together? Yes. So, what do we have here? You have? You have 3, isn't it? So, the answer is? Is 3. Then we go, we now look for the magnitude of B, isn't it? The magnitude of? The magnitude of vector B. So if you say this vector B is x2i plus y2j plus z2k, then the magnitude of vector B is the Pythagoras theorem, that is the square root of x2 squared plus y2 squared plus z2 squared, isn't it? Are we together? So what do we get? Is the square root of x2 is 2, isn't it? That is 2 squared plus y2 is also positive 2, isn't it? 2 squared plus z2 is negative 1, isn't it? Negative 1 squared. So all negatives, when you square them, they go to positive. So you simply look for 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared, isn't it? Which is? So square root of 9, you get it is? It is 3. Isn't it? So after that, we now have a dot b is equal to magnitude of a times magnitude of b cos theta, isn't it? So all we need to do is just to substitute, isn't it? So here we have a dot b you found to be 4. So if you substitute, you get 4 is equal to magnitude of a times magnitude of b is 3 times 3, isn't it? That is 9 then cos theta. So 4 is equal to 9 cos cos theta. Are we together there? Yes. Now from there, so you make cos theta the subject, meaning you divide by 9 to remove the coefficient of cos theta, isn't it? So you get cos theta is equal to 4 over 9. You divide both sides by, by 9 to remain, with, to remain with cos theta. So cos theta is 4 over 9, which is 
0.4444. So for you to get theta, so you just look for the cos inverse of 0 0.44. You take cos the other side, you are now looking for the cos inverse of 0 0.4444. What do you get it to be? 63.61 degrees. Are we together? So anytime you are told to determine the angle, to determine the angle between two vectors, then that is just the concept of the vector dot product, isn't it? You just look for the concept of the vector dot product. From the concept of the vector dot product, you will just be substituting the value of the dot product of the two vectors, their magnitude and their respective magnitudes. Then you will be able to get that angle, isn't it? Are we together? Very good. So that is how to handle such cases.